Many of our customers often ask, what's the difference between service level and fill rate? They're both very useful uh, uh, measurements of how effectively you're meeting your customer demand, but they actually mean very, very different things. And it's important to understand those differences so that you can get the right outcome in your planning process. So I wanted to prepare a, a very quick uh, and simple example that, uh, that clearly shows those differences. So to, sh to start, we're going to enter uh, some observations. These could be you know, a period of 10 days. It could be uh, 10 customer orders. It could be 10 months or 10 weeks. Here we're going to enter the inventory level that was available for sale at that particular time. Let us assume that it's 35 units at the start of each of those observations. And here we're going to enter uh, a theoretical uh, demand, uh, some demand. Uh, so let's measure service level first. Service level asks the simply answers the question, did I stock out or not? And how often did I not stock out? And so to do that, you can enter a very simple equals if statement. If inventory is greater than or equal to my demand, then we didn't run out. And we get a point. And when we do run out, we don't get a point. So very simply, inventory, in this case, gets us a 70% service level. 7 divided by 10. 10 total observations is 70%. So we get a 70% service level. But what is our fill rate? So we know we're 70% likely not to run out. We'll fill the demand. We can reach back on the shelf with a 70% probability and fill whatever the customer wants. But 30% of the time, you do run out. And fill rate answers the question, what is the total number of units that you will actually fill based on the total that is in fact ordered. What will you fill versus what is ordered? And so here we, we simply say, look, if there was a stock out, then if, if there was a stock out, we just need to count how big that was. And we can do that by uh, just saying equals if the service level is 100%, meaning we didn't run out, then the stock out was zero. And if we did run out, we want to take the demand and subtract the available inventory from that. And so now we see what the stockout quantity was. You can then add that stockout quantity up, and we see we stocked out of a total of 19 units. Now, we know the total demand uh, was, let's add it up here, 240 units. So therefore, our fill rate is going to be 240 minus 19, because that's what we filled divided by 240, because that was the demand, and you get a fill rate of 92%. And so you can see very, very different answers. Uh, we often see the reverse when you have intermittent demand. So in those cases, you might have an inventory level of 1 or 2, and 95% of the time, demand is 0. So you get a 95% service level, because you never stock out, because demand most of the time is 1 or 0. But on the random occasion, it's 10 or 11. Your fill rate is actually only 1 out of 10 or 1 out of 11. And you have a very, very low fill rate. So you can actually see the opposite. So again, hopefully this simple exercise gave you a very clear uh, understanding for those differences. And if you incorporate them into your planning process, um, you'll, you'll know what you're going to get and at least know what to expect. Thank you.